This is Art from Mobile GD and we're with Antix. Present yourself. Hi, good afternoon. I, my name's Tim Warner. I work for Antix Labs um, and we're based in the UK. What we offer is the capability to leverage your C and C++ content on a mobile, between devices, with simple portability. Your fragmentation gets reduced, less SKUs, based on the device, small player on there, and then just the game content goes across between devices. All you need to worry about. So let's, let's demonstrate this portability. Now this is a bit of content written in C and C++. It's an EA title, SimCity. Here we go, SimCity is installed. Designed for the mobile, running here full screen on the PC, just so you, as, a, as a customer can just see whether they like the game to try on a try before you buy basis. So here we go into SimCity, and they can then play play the game as you would normally play the game on on the mobile. So they can now decide whether they like it or not. They like the game, they want to play it on the mobile on the train, so they can now transfer it between the devices. So let's go and do that. Let's get out of this one. So this is the one. This is the one we started with. So we'll send it to the device that we've got here. We have here a Windows Mobile device that we're going to, going to beam it to. So off we go. Let it. And pair up. Here we go, sending across. And this is a 300k game. It's a, it's a brew port of a port of a brew game. And here we have it on the device, ready to install. So let's <coughs> go and install it. So there we are. There's the bit of content that we just uh, installed. Or just let it install onto the device, into the Antics game player, and we can then go and play it. So identical content. The benefit of this is it's C++, allows you to leverage your back catalogue of content that you've had on more complex games, such as three, with 3D acceleration that it allows you to support. So here we go, we're back into SimCity again. Up come the splash screens. <laughs> And there we go, back into the game. Now, imagine the playground scenario. There we have two kids in the playground. They want to play a game between them, but normally you can't send it between devices, between different device families. There we were just playing it on a Windows mobile, but their friend has a Symbian phone, so we'll just drag it and copy it over between the two devices. So, back to the, the farm manager. There we are with, with SimCity again. It's the same bit of content we dragged from the PC earlier. So let's send it via Bluetooth again to the Z8. The Z8 being a UIQ Motorola device. And here we go. Being uploaded onto the device. We have a new message. Wants to look at installing it. There we go, SimCity to install. <coughs> and off we go. So it's the same content from the PC to Windows Mobile to Symbian UIQ. The development platform, the environment is Eclipse using standard tool, standard tool chain that all developers are used to using. So it makes it easy for them to use C and C++. So up comes the splash screen. And we, we then start, as you've seen with the splash screen another, and back into the game now. And these games can be more complicated. Um, you can realize that the hardware capabilities with OpenGL ES 1.1 and so you have the basis where that can then be, be used and you can play very complicated AAA titles and make good your product. Okay. The games, you, you transfer the games and they, those then run on the player. You have a unique player depending on the device you're on. You're, if you're on the, on the desktop, you have a player for the desktop. You have a se second player for your 
Windows Mobile, another player for your Symbian product. These are, these are small packages, these are 300k packages on each of the devices. They don't affect the, uh, the footprint of the device very much. And this allows the games then to be portable with a, with a minimum of fuss, reducing your skews, reducing your fragmentation and making it a lot easier for you to realise the quality of your asset. The game developers, the, the way to access the, the Antix game development kit is through the Antix website, antixlabs.com. They can register for, for the game developer kit there and they, they get access to the game developer kit that allow, with all the tools that enables them to do, develop the game files. They don't get access to the development tools for the player. In, in terms of deployment of, of the player, it's being, um, we announced a uh, deal with Motorola to download the player onto the Z8 and Z10. We announced that last Friday, the, the 8th of February. Um, and in the future that will be embedded uh, onto those devices. And as we go through the year, you'll see uh, the Antics game player Im embedded onto more and more devices uh, uh, for closed phones. Um, but it still has the ability to be downloaded over the air to the higher end devices, the open platform devices. And how can developers address uh, devices that are already in the market? Um, if if they're, they're higher end devices, then of course the, the player can be downloaded to them. For the closed devices, then that, that is one for the future. So it's, it's about embedding the player for, for the closed devices. Okay. Hi, I'm Andrew Spriggs, uh, CFO. Um, yes, in terms of the open devices, we're, we're already running on, um, as we said, Motorola UIQ type devices, but also some of the, the Windows devices, the Windows mobile devices, and they offer themselves very easily to um, a much wider array of manufacturers um, with relatively short, from relatively short uh, uh, porting times for each of those devices, and that enables developers to get out to an addressable market from day one.